Hi, this is Jeff Curto, and welcome to episode number 87 of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography. Well, let's see. Today's camera position is Desert Island Photographs, Desert Island Photography, or Desert Island Photographs. And um, recapping, the concept here was is that at several points in camera position's history, I've mentioned that I have Desert Island Photographs, pictures that I would like to take with me if I were forced to spend some time on a desert island to feed me intellectually, emotionally, visually, uh, things that I would want to have with me so that I could uh, live a happier life uh, sequestered away from the rest of society on a desert island. So I solicited camera position listeners' requests for uh, their own personal desert island photograph. And uh, several camera position readers or listeners rather uh, uh, responded. And what we got were some interesting pictures Uh, I also asked them to send just one picture and to give me a a paragraph on why that particular image is their desert island photograph. So let's just jump right in and uh, see where we wind up. Uh, This first one, and I have to admit that this was just an absolute, uh, I I laughed out loud when uh, uh, when this email arrived because it's from Rex Kersley. Uh, the very first person to respond to the Desert Island photography or Desert Island photograph uh, request, and Rex actually lives on a desert island. Quite frankly, uh, well, no, it's not a real desert island. He lives on the island of Vanuatu, and Rex and I have been uh, corresponding for a number of years. Uh, He's a steadfast listener to camera position and an all-around great guy. And Rex lives on the island of Vanuatu, which is in the Pacific Ocean, uh, kind of near Papua New Guinea, kind of near uh, the Solomon Islands, kind of near Australia, but quite frankly, not that near to anywhere. Uh, So I just thought it was really, really fun to have the first, the very first respondent be somebody who lives on a beautiful tropical island. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's hear what Rex had to say. He said, uh, hi, Jeff. Well, you certainly know how to set hard assignments. There are so many great photographers out there from the ancient to the modern. But this photograph from Bill Brandt has to be the one for me. I was given a copy of his book Perspectives of Nudes back in 1964. At the time, I was in my early 20s and had just started dabbling in photography, doing my own printing in black and white. My mother was a painter and she had a large collection of books which included several by Cubist artists, which I never really could understand. Then this book arrived, and this one picture helped me bridge the gap between reality and abstract. It would also help me to remember my mother, who passed away quite a few years ago. Cheers, Rex. P.S. Could I take the book as I wouldn't want to rip the page out? (laughs) Yeah, you know, the idea, of course, is to uh, find that one image, but (laughs) yes, Rex, you can take the book along to the desert island uh, as you wouldn't want to rip the page out. So uh, Rex's image uh, tied to memory, certainly memory of a time when uh, he was uh, younger and and thinking about photography as something that he was interested in, and memory of his mother and memory of uh, this life of growing up in a creative household and having this one piece of photographic information feed him in a certain way. So uh, a a wonderful response and a wonderful first response from my Desert Island listener. Um, All right, uh, moving on. The second response, (laughs) oddly, also came from a guy named Rex. Uh, This is Rex Lisman, and uh, Rex uh, wrote this about this particular picture. He said, this picture by Gary Winogrand is on my top five list of photographs I would want with me on a desert island. Notice that he didn't, you know, he couldn't cop to the idea that there could only be one, just like like, uh, Rex from Vanuatu. So uh, this picture shows me so much of what it means to be human and how it's possible to capture so much in just one fleeting moment. There is despair in the man in the wheelchair body's language, uh, but also courage in just being there. There is fear and revulsion in at least the lead woman's body language, as she seems to be recoiling from his presence. There is curiosity in the look of the boy on the bench who sits staring at the man in the wheelchair. Of course, Winogrand might scoff at this, considering his contention that a photograph can't tell us anything about what's being photographed or tell any kind of story, but can only tell us what something looks like. 
The boy could be looking at something in the window. The man in the wheelchair might be asleep. The woman in the white dress could be about to reach into her purse for money to give to him. For me, this picture is pregnant with tension and has held my interest since I first saw it 25 or so years ago. So Rex Lisman. And, you know, that's, he's read the photograph, right? He's read through the idea of looking at the picture, thinking about what it might mean, and concocting a story for that image, concocting a sort of sense of what that image means, not only to him, but what it might have meant within that moment. Uh, And I love that idea. The picture shows me so much of what it means to be human and how it's possible to capture so much in one fleeting moment. So thanks, uh, Rex. Uh, Listman for uh, that contribution to the Desert Island photographs. Well, the next Desert Island photograph came from a friend and uh, podcasting colleague, Abarian X Perillo. And I know that an awful lot of you listen to Abarian X's most excellent Candid Frame podcast. Uh, what a great podcast it is. He f- manages to get terrific interviews out of really interesting photographers uh, week in and week out. And, uh, you know, interviewing, I think, is one of those skills that people either have or they don't. And I think Abarian X has that skill in spades, and it's great to hear those podcasts. And if, if you're not listening to them, it's the candidframe.com. Uh, and uh, I would certainly encourage you to go take a look at that. So uh, here is Abarian X's Desert Island photograph. Jeff, there are so many images I love, but this image from Sam Abel of a cow being branded is one that I never get tired of looking at and analyzing. The layered photograph is one of the most fascinating compositions that I've ever had the pleasure to look at. It's definitely a way of seeing I aspire to. The image consists of four different planes, each of which could be a photograph in itself, but Sam aptly merges them into a stunning photograph where each element complements the other, none of which proves to be a distraction. Looking at the contact sheet from which this image is pulled is a lesson in making good photographs itself, as this image is not just a one-shot, but a patient exploration of scene and moment. Today, this image has my vote. Now, that's great. I love that last piece. Today, this image has my vote, because I think our tastes change, right? Our tastes about what photographs we like, which photographs we admire, which photographs we would like to take to that uh, desert island, uh, would change over time. So today this image has my vote. And, you know, I like that he's uh, seen this wonderfully layered composition that seems to recede in space. I love how much of the edge of the frame is filled, you know, both the left, the right, and the bottom. All three of those edges are completely filled with image information. And really it's almost like we're looking into a world uh, through uh, through some sort of a viewfinder, through some sort of a window, kind of like the camera's viewfinder. And I, I also like that Abarian X has really noted that, uh, and I'm not sure where he uh, saw the contact sheet, and he did not include that as part of what it was that he sent along, but um, that idea that a patient exploration of a scene and a moment, um, that idea that we can't always get exactly what we want to have uh, in that one shot, Um, And that it takes uh, working the scene, thinking about what it is that the scene has to offer to to find it. So thanks, Abarian X. What a great image. Uh, And what a great photographer, Sam Abel. Um, Just a a terrific photographer and a a really uh, an interesting speaker if you ever get a chance to hear Sam speak about photography. Just uh, somebody who uh, is understated but an excellent, excellent uh, conversationalist about the medium. Another Desert Island photograph here is from Chris Campbell. Uh, Chris Campbell, who's uh, from California, and Chris says, Hi Jeff, this is of course is a virtually impossible choice to make, but Ansel Adams' Clearing Winter Storm, Yosemite 1940, is my Desert Island selection. This photograph reminds me of the majestic natural beauty of Yosemite as well as the wonderful times I've experienced there with my family throughout my life. The photo is dramatic and contrasty with snow-covered trees in the foreground, the famous giant rock formations such as El Capitan in the middle, and background and pronounced clouds above. The photo also inspires me to someday make a photographic trip or workshop there in the wintertime, which I've not yet had an opportunity to do. Love the podcast. Cheers, Chris Campbell. So, again, I love that uh, Chris has, you know, sort of uh, put a memory stamp here. He's talking about this image as a memory, 
uh, as a memory of this experience of being in this place. Uh, but not only that, he talks about it as a photographic document, what it is that he sees inside the image, the snow-covered trees, the giant rock formations, and notes that all of those things come together in uh, this common element of, uh, of the image. So a terrific image, of course, and certainly one of the most famous images, uh, certainly one of Ansel Adams' most famous images, and certainly one of the most famous images in the history of 20th century photography. So we'll leave off here for this uh, episode of Camera Position. We've got uh, about halfway through. I had nine submissions of Desert Island photographs. I was really, frankly, quite thrilled that I had uh, nine submissions. I didn't know if anybody would submit Desert Island photographs, but I'm glad that some of you rose to the occasion and not only submitted great images, but also submitted some really interesting thoughts about what those images represented to you. So uh, we'll return to the Desert Island photograph uh, idea in the next episode of Camera Position, a podcast about the creative side of photography. Camera Position is a proud member of the Photocast Network, your photo resource in the potosphere. PhotocastNetwork.com. <laughs>